Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Michelle from the Canadian food lifestyle blog NorthSouthBlonde.com and we actually updated our internet provider to satellite internet and I wanted to give you all a little bit of knowledge behind Starlink which is a satellite internet provider for people who live in the country or live in desolate areas, in remote rural areas, uh, whether they are at the cottage and need high speed internet and there are no service providers that are around or whether they just maybe they work from home and they live in a rural community and they don't have access to the high-speed internet which they would like um, maybe you're homeschooling your kids whichever the circumstance may be and you're looking for high-speed internet this would be the way to go so first you need to go to starlink.com sign up and basically put in your address and check to see if they do service your address, your area. Um, so what you're seeing here is pretty much what comes in the package. There is a startup fee, there's a deposit, and there is a monthly payment, which is a little bit more pricey than your regular high-speed internet payment, but the speeds are incredible. So you are looking at speeds all the way up to 150 megabytes per second. Um, incredible download speeds as well. And this means that multi multiple people in the household can use the internet. You can have multiple devices on the internet without any any interruptions at all. Now depending on where you are installing it on your property, um, this is key for no interruptions. You want to be able to place the dish uh, where it has clear view of the sky. So if you have trees hovering over your house or your cottage or wherever it may be, um, you want to get the clearest view of the sky. That way there's not many um, not as much downtime, if you will, because the dish rotates. Um, it kind of goes uh, in a triangle of um, it rotates from left to right, for example, and that um, every time the satellites pass by in the sky, that's let's say it goes behind the trees. That's when you're going to lose a couple seconds of your internet, which I haven't really noticed. Um, it, a couple seconds really does not affect me. I work from home. I'm constantly editing. I'm on software. I'm online all the time. And um, I do not see any lag in the internet at all. Um, there were a few circumstances where we had an outage for maybe two minutes. But I mean, you just get up and go to the bathroom and it's not really that big of a deal. So here you're going to see there is a speed test that you can do with the Starlink app. They also have a really easy setup for you to, um, to make sure that your view of sight of the sky is clear when you are installing the dish. And I also want to throw in there that the higher the better. Um, you want to get as high as possible, whether that is the roof of your garage or the roof, the highest peak of your house. Um, that way it just has a better view of the sky. And here you're going to see, you could do a speed test right on the Starlink app. You can check any downtimes. You can check your billing, your monthly billing. Um, and... Of course, again, if you have trouble installing or if you have any issues at all, everything is on the app. So if you have any questions, you can contact them and start up a ticket and they will resolve your problem. So with me, I had a little bit of issues installing because the app was telling me that we were going to have quite a bit of downtime, but after installing it, um, the downtime, like I said, it just lasted for seconds just because there's constant satellites um, rotating right in the sky. So it just, you know, just seconds. And um, 
considering that we live in northern Ontario, there's a lot of trees on our property, very high trees hoovering around our house, but we also have a great view of the sky in the center where our house is. Um, as you can see, the tips of the sky do interfere with the line of uh, where it has access to the satellites or the line of view of this from the dish. So you can see that um, this is our property here and it still works extremely well for us. I would never switch back to what we were using before. I've been with ExploreNet. I've been with uh, Northern Tell. I've never been able to get speeds like this, especially living in Northern Ontario, where uh, it's kind of hard to find high-speed internet. Um, I've also tried, I think we were going to go with Paralink, but um, we needed the wiring to go underground to the main street just to connect to uh, or have a view of the of the tower so that was going to cost us tons of money as well and i'm just happy that we were able to find starlink and yeah the setup was great um very easy to set up everything was great instructions were straightforward very few instructions to set it up and go and you can literally start using your internet right away um, so again here you can see the tips of the trees in our backyard and this is pretty much just going over the line of sight from the dish and you need to be able to see as much sky as possible. Um, that's probably going to be your biggest, um, this is going to be the, the, the biggest thing is the installation of the dish. So make sure you place it strategically on your property. Um, a lot of people online have been saying that if it points north, that it will be a much better connection. So I, I haven't, we wouldn't really do that, but you could try um, to uh, decrease any downtimes that you have. And um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna have a blog post for you guys with, uh, frequently asked questions, all of my tips on installing, and basically our whole experience with Starlink satellite internet. So there you have it. If you want to know more, like I said, feel free to leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, thanks for watching.